Hi, I'm Simon Matthews. And this is a game I started to make in 1994 on my ZX Spectrum Plus Tool. It's called Boxhead. The reason being, there was a guy I used to work with who we called Boxhead on account of his rather square head. So I named the game after him. I never actually finished making the game, but it is still playable as you can see. There were going to be ghosts and bats and stuff, but I never got round to putting them in. The aim of the game is to get to the end, where there's a key that will open the door to the next level. And your score is increased when you collect the purple stars. The yellow balls enable Boxhead to bounce or jump higher. If you touch a white spike, you die, and if you fall off the bottom of the screen, you die. I don't actually make it to the end here, it's really hard. The yellow balls make you bounce into the spikes all the time. The game is programmed in machine code. All the coding was done by myself in just pen and paper. I designed the graphics using two other programs that I wrote. A graphic designer program to design the bare graphics or sprites and a scroll designer program that enabled me to design the play area. These two programs were also coded using pen and paper. What made it difficult for me to complete a game was the fact that I wrote them down using pen and paper. Every time I added a little bit more coding into the game, all the jump addresses had to change and I had to shuffle everything around and it made it really difficult. Got confusing in the end. What I should have done is planned out the game from start to finish before starting to write the programme, instead of just writing bits and adding bits into it here and there. I think you can see from this little demonstration that it was probably capable of making games that were good enough to sell. But I didn't get to this level of programming until about 1994, which was too late to cast the Spectrum's heyday by then, even if I had planned out the game from start to finish. As it happens, I've never sold a game in my life. So I am tempted now to go back into programming just to see if I could complete a game or produce a complete game. The red and white platforms here are conveyor belts. If you stop running on them they will carry you back in the opposite direction and you can fall off the edge and die. I would have liked to have designed better graphics for the main character but I was in so much of a rush to get the game up and running that I decided to just design this quick uh, square type box out character in a few minutes or half an hour or whatever. I have designed much better graphics than this in the past. I designed a little Indian man with uh, fully animated arms and legs. Uh, but that's typical of me to uh, rush too much to get things uh, up and running. Uh, maybe next time. I should mention that I didn't take computer studies in school. Everything I know about programming I learnt myself at home from a book. Two books actually. The standard book you get when you buy a Spectrum and a book called Mastering Machine Code on your ZX Spectrum by Tony Baker. Great little book which I picked up by chance one day in Swansea change the way I look at life. I left school having sat no exams because I hated school. The reason I hated school was pretty much because I was bullied, but I won't go into that now. Basically, the teachers thought I was useless, but that was because I rebelled as a way of protecting myself. But they were all too stupid to see that. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this little tour of my game, and thank you very much.